So in question number 116, an aggregate fruit is one which develops from. Aggregate fruit develops from a single flower in which there is presence of several carpels means multicarpillary condition and all the carpels they are free. So when all the carpels they are free you call it as apocarpus condition. So please see here. Let us say this is a single flower in which there is presence of several carpels and you can see the carpels they are free here. Now after the fertilization each carpel will form a structure which is known as fruitlet. Fine. So, in a single flower, there will be formation of several fruitlets. This group of fruitlet, you call it as aggregate fruit. So, fruitlets group, this is known as aggregate fruit. So, now we can see the right option here. First one is multicarpillary and syncarpus kinosium. Syncarpus means carpels are fused. So, this cannot be the condition. Multicarpillary and apocarpus. Apocarpus means carpels are free. So, this is right option for this question. We can also th see third option here that is complete inflorescence. The fruit which is formed from complete inflorescence that is known as composite fruit or you call it as multiple fruit. Fine. So, for aggregate fruit one example is strawberry and for complete inflorescence the fruit which is formed from complete inflorescence example is fig. So, let us proceed towards next question that is question number 117. Question number 117, pollen tablets are available in the market for supplementing food. Yes, this is right option. You know that the pollen grains, they are rich in nutrients. Pollen grains contain proteins. Yes, that is around 26%. Then they have carbohydrates. Maximally around 48% fats 14.5%. So, pollen grains they are rich in proteins, carbohydrates and fats that is why they are used as food supplements. Yes, it is believed that the consumption of pollen grains can increase performance of athletes as well as race horses. So, after question number 117, let us see question number 118 here. So, now question number 118, we have to select what is the appropriate function of filiform apparatus. Let us see, this is embryo sac. In embryo sac, this is micropylar end and this is chalazal end. So, this cell which I am representing here in the embryo sac, that is egg cell. The two cells which are present on sides, these cells, they represent synergids. Now, in the synergid, towards the micropylar end, there is presence of finger-like structures. These finger-like structures, they represent filiform apparatus. Fine. Now, this is the largest cell of embryo sac, that is central cell, in which there is presence of two polar nuclei. And towards the chalazal end, there is presence of three cells 
and you call these three cells as antipodal cells. Fine. Now, what is the function of filiform apparatus? Filiform apparatus, it will secrete certain chemical substances. Yes, certain chemical substances, they are secreted by filiform apparatus, which guides the entry of pollen tube inside the embryo sac. It will guide the entry of pollen tube inside the embryo sac in the synergid. Fine. So, it means growth of pollen tube is there or you can say movement of pollen tube is there due to chemical stimulus. So, the movement of pollen tube due to the chemical stimulus secreted by the given by the filiform apparatus such type of movement you call it as chemotropic movement. Fine. And who is giving the chemical stimulus? That is filiform apparatus present in the synergid. So, what is the right option here? Right option here is option number 4. Guide the entry of pollen tube inside the synergid in the embryo sac. Fine. So, now question number 119. 